In a day where social media runs our world, a picture, a video, a moment can be captured and go viral in the matter of seconds. You have to watch what you do, especially when you're the reigning Heisman Trophy winner and your name's Johnny Football. And while Manziel does own up to his mistakes, he's not sorry for living his life. This is a dynasty, dude. You think you can take these guys down today? Hey, they try. They play like they did against Colorado State. It's happening. Well, the fans have done all the talking. It's time to watch the players do it on the field. Probably going to need this. I think we can put points on them. I think we can score on anybody. That was Bo Wallace in Monday's press conference from Oxford. But tonight in T-Town, the Crimson Tide defense showed up and didn't allow one single Rebel to get in this right here, the end zone. It was a tale of two quarterbacks with Missouri and Tennessee without their regular starting quarterbacks. The job was left up to two redshirt freshmen. And then while Josh Dobbs did have his moments, it was Maddie Mock that stole the show. With a 4-5 and five record, Tennessee can still get to a bowl game with just two more wins. Missouri, on the other hand, 8-1, and one, but the rest of their schedule is absolutely brutal. So it'll be a tough run for them to finish up and get to a BCS Bowl. Reporting here from the zoo in Columbia, Missouri, Andy Burrell, Local 24 Sports. I took it upon myself to ask some of the best sports writers and sports television personalities in the nation to describe that man, Nick Saban, with just one word. But kind of just share with us one story that really sticks out about the monkey. Uh, me and my wife went out to eat one night, put, the mo put Sonny, Sonny the monkey, up in his room, uh, put the dogs outside. We got a call about an hour and a half later from our neighbors saying that our dog and our monkey were walking around the neighborhood. <laughs> So together, yeah, I'll ride and ride my, my dog on the ride the back of the dog. Wow, so, yeah. that's great, man. Well, rest in peace, Sonny. <laughs> Mike, right. welcome back to Memphis, Thank man. You. Thanks. All offseason, all the talk for Memphis Tigers basketball was about the four guard system. How much would they use it? Would it actually work? Well, tonight they did use the four guard system and it worked quite well, but then again. Everything worked very well tonight against Austin P. The Memphis Tigers kick off their basketball season tonight against Austin P. Not the best opponent out there, but man, I tell you what, it's a good way to get this thing kicked off right here at home. And if you've been watching college basketball over the last few nights, there's been a lot of big time play out of freshman players, and that's exactly what Memphis is hoping for this season as well. That's what it's all about. So that's the locker room. Let's take you outside and show you what's going on out here. Like I said, just about an hour from game time. Guys, this is what they call getting spatted. Ankles taped to make sure nobody has injuries. Do it very tightly. This guy knows exactly what he's doing. He's probably been doing it for coach. How long you been taping ankles? About and seven. get your ankles taped as well, man. <laughs> man. All my life I played ball and now I'm taping, so I've been taping about seven years. That's what I'm saying. This is a big game tonight, and that's why it's Burrell's big game. Cedric Wilson Jr., he's a stud. His dad played at Tennessee. He can get the job done, but one player in particular that's going to put a stop to that is this big boy right here, Josh Williams. He's only a junior, 6'4", 225. The kid brings the pain. If you can feel the atmosphere out here right now that you know this is playoff football. Dak Prescott, who has done very well this year for Mississippi State, dual threat guy. What is his status coming into tonight? I do not expect Dak Prescott to play. He has a nerve situation in his left elbow. The last couple of years, Alabama has been untouchable, unbeatable. But last night, not the case. Remember the years of Peerless Price, Peyton Manning, T. Martin, and Philip Fulmer? Wow, those were some unbelievable years in UT's history and part of a storied program. But that's nothing like the UT we've seen the last several years. That's why they brought in Butch Jones. Tennessee, not the only one reaching out and getting a new head coach. Arkansas went all the way up to the Big Ten so they could get one of these. Of the FedEx St. Jude's Classic, I'm joined by Sarah. I'm going to ask her if she's heard of a few golfers. How about Dustin Johnson? Yes. Phil Mickelson? Of course. What about uh, Brant Snedeker? Yes. And Harris English? No. And you will after this story. Okay, so he's not the most colorful, charming, or even the nicest guy. But you know what? He wins championships. And in college football, that's all that matters. Reporting from Hoover, Alabama, Andy Burrell, Local 24 Sports. Singing sweet home Alabama. like some hotty toddy fans over there. Let me check this out. What's up, hotty toddy? Hey! Hotty toddy! Where the heck am I right now? I don't know. I think we're close to Tuscaloosa, maybe. It's Tuscaloosa this way or back that I way? I would say it's this way. Okay. Yeah. Right. 
It was 23-year-old Harris English who withheld the charge from four-time major champion Phil Mickelson, but better yet, withheld his nerves down the stretch to capture his first PGA Tour victory. We know what Harris English will be doing this time next year. He'll be defending his title, but he's got plans even earlier than that. He plans on playing in the Masters. Reporting from the 2013 FedEx St. Jude Classic, I'm Andy Burrell, CW30 Sports. Now, while Mark Gasol might not be completely truthful about his favorite restaurant in Memphis, myself and the rest of the Grizzlies aren't telling any fibs. That's why I come to Central Barbecue for the best wings in Memphis. At Rendezvous, it's very nice. I've been to Central Barbecue, which is a uh, pulled pork sandwich, unbelievable. I go to Brothers Juniper for all the time. You can find me at Spendini a lot. Um, I love their food, love their pastas. Renee's on G. Patterson. Uh, right now it's probably Sticks out in Collierville. Oh, I don't know about so, that. Uh, oh yeah, you gotta go, what, go what's check the it dish? out. Uh, hibachi chicken, double chicken, and, uh, and fried rice, and you get soup, you get salad, some edamame, man. It's... A lot of times me and Mike Conley go to Sticks restaurant. Uh, Andrew Michaels. See, I don't know if it's that great for me because I don't eat pork.